Hello everyone! Today's video will be a tutorial on Procreate. Using this image of a beetle, I want to create a pop design. There is a symmetrical tool function in Procreate, and using this tool, anyone can draw something like this. Just by making any design symmetrical, you can take your design to the next level. So I hope you find this video useful and have fun! Okay, let's start. Open Procreate first and create a new canvas from the plus button at the upper right. You can choose any size. As always, open your camera roll on the right, drag and drop the image to the canvas, like this. This way, the image is placed on the canvas. Here, make sure to bring the image to the center as much as you can. Next, set the opacity for this layer to around 10%. It's slightly visible. And create a new layer on top of it. From here, we'll adjust the settings so that we can draw symmetrically. From the settings, go to Edit and Drawing Guide. There is an option that says Symmetry at the very right, so select it, and now you should see this line in the center. And you can move the center point, so set it to wherever you want. The object will be displayed symmetrical, centering the center line here, so make sure to set it in a way that the line is drawn in the middle of the beetle. Now, under the layer here, it says Assisting. Once you set your drawing mode, it should say assisting. We are going to outline from here. The brush we are using this time is called a studio pen. It can be found in the inking box. With this pen, draw one side, and as you can see, the other side gets drawn at the same time. So from here, we are going to outline little by little. Make sure to pay attention for this part. If you are struggling to draw a line well, there is an option called Streamline if you go to the settings for a studio pen. And if you set it higher, you can draw the line better. A tip here would be to draw the left side if you are right-handed, and on the opposite, draw the right side if you are left-handed. Once you have your outline, let's start coloring. When coloring too, keep the drawing guide turned on and throw in color from the bucket like this to color everything black. As you color while keeping the symmetry function turned on, they also color both sides. This saves a lot of time, so I suggest doing the same. Next, we are going to erase some unnecessary parts using an eraser. Select the eraser, and you can choose a brush for the eraser too. So the same as earlier, grab a studio paint here too, and start erasing parts that we don't need. Now from here, we'll apply textures to the beetle. We want to add textures around the belly only. Select the textures of your choice from your camera roll and throw it in. Adjust the size and change the layer with textures to clipping mask. This will then apply textures to the beetle like this, but what I want to do is to apply them to only the belly part here. Since they are applied to all the layers, I'm going to fix this. To do so, we need to create a separate layer for the belly only. 
So from the select tool at the upper left, click on automatic on the very left. Then select the belly part like this and drag to both sides. Around 90% of it is selected right now. So swipe down with your three fingers like this and these options appear. Tap the cut and paste option. This will cut out the belly part of the beetle's body and we now have a new layer for that here. Can you see it? This is pretty useful, so give it a try if you can. Here, we are going to apply textures to the belly part only. So like we did earlier, throw this in and set it so that it covers the belly part like this. Select the layer. And then choose a clipping mask here. Now the textures will apply only to the belly. Okay, so that was about the automatic selection tool. It's very useful, but this is the first time I talk about it in my video actually. I've always struggled to find a way to explain the use of it, but now I did it. So please give it a try if you can. Okay, from here, I'm going to change the color of the belly a little bit. Select the layer for the belly. I just threw in orange from the paint bucket. So now the belly is coloring orange as you can see. Now we are going to change the blend mode for the layer where a clipping mask was applied earlier. This time we are going to select overlay and it gets kind of shiny and becomes a stylish design. Next, the head part. We are going to separate the layer here as well. When doing so, as we did before, click on the automatic selection tool, select the head part only, and swipe down with your three fingers. Copy and paste, and now we can see layers separately. So what we have here right now includes the head, the belly, and arms and legs. So we have three separate layers. We are going to add more design to the head from here. Add a new layer and grab any color of your choice. This time I'm going to go for the bluish color. And as we select a new layer add it, there's an option that says join assist. So turn it on. Once it's turned on, the symmetry tool we set earlier gets active for this layer too. About drawing assist, we can set each layer to have it on or off. So when you want to draw symmetrically, make sure to turn the drawing assist function on to draw. I'm just going to keep drawing design here. But to recap, the three functions I use a lot in this video are Automatic Selection Tool, Symmetry Tool, and Clipping Mask. So I want you to watch me and see how I use them from here too. Alright, I'm going to fast forward a bit from here.
Okay, just like this, I'm done with the video. I think textures along with the symmetry tool are applied very nicely. At last, I'm also going to apply textures to the background, as it will elevate the design overall. Same as earlier, we are going to stop with camera roll to do that. Like this, I'm applying textures here, but for those who don't have any textures, it's okay to work on it with your brush too. I want to take the easy way, so I'm just going to use this texture background. Okay, now it's complete. When we look at the layer panel here, there are three grouped categories. From the bottom, we have the legs and the sense of touch, the veil in the middle, the head and the horn for the third one. Alright, that's all for today. I myself find it so fun working on this, so I want you guys to give it a try as well. For those who find this difficult, it may be a good idea to start with something really simple that's symmetrical. And once you get better, you can try something more difficult or challenging. I'm planning to make a series on insects like this one. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's all for today. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye.